Hi guys, welcome to another episode of the Armourer's Bench. Today we're going to take a look at the B-53 thermonuclear bomb. I recently had the chance to visit the Atomic Testing Museum in Las Vegas and came face to face with a huge decommissioned B-53. I got some video and I thought I'd talk about the history behind this lesser known bomb, the last of which were only decommissioned in 2011. The B-53 is a two-stage high-yield thermonuclear weapon designed as a bunker buster that could deliver a massive shockwave deep underground to the deepest Soviet command and control bunkers. Developed between 1958 and 1961, the B-53 was intended to combat deeply emplaced Soviet bunkers with a yield of 9 megatons. It used a highly enriched uranium core as its primary fission stage, with lithium-6 deuteride as its secondary fusion element. The warhead itself was developed from the earlier Mark 46 warhead. The experimental TX-53 was tested at the Pacific Proving Grounds as part of Operation Hardtack 1, which saw no less than 35 nuclear test detonations. Codenamed Hardtack Oak, the TX-53 was detonated aboard a floating barge on the 20th of June 1958, with a yield of 8.9 megatons. The detonation, seen in this footage, created a cloud 78,000 feet tall, that's 23.8 kilometers. Designed to be dropped from the Strategic Air Command's B-47, B-52 and B-58 bombers, the B-53 is a gravity bomb, which free fell to its target and could be either air or surface detonated. The bomb itself weighed 8,850 pounds, or 4,014 kilograms, and the casing is 12.5 feet long, that's about 3.8 meters, and just over 50 inches, or 1.27 meters, in diameter. The bomb's outer casing splits into a nose section, a two-piece central casing, and the rear assembly with four fins, which house the parachute assembly. They were built by the Atomic Energy Commission between 1962 and 1965, and over 340 bombs were built. Initially designated the Mark 53, it was redesignated the B-53 in 1968. The bomb itself could be deployed in four ways. A delayed surface burst, a freefall air burst, a parachute retarded air burst, or an immediate contact surface burst. Here we can see the panel to control the parachute deployment, with markings for safe, freefall, and retard. The B-53 was obsolete in terms of its safety by the early 1980s, with none of the modern safety features such as an enhanced nuclear detonation safety. Additionally, its explosive lens, consisting of a mix of RDX and TNT, was not an insensitive munition. This means it wasn't designed to resist detonation from external stimuli or damage. The B-53 also had no fire-resistant pit, which prevents the spread of radioactive material in the event of a fire. Nor does it have command disable safety features, like a permissive action link, which prevents the unauthorised arming of the bomb. Many of the B-53s in US inventory were decommissioned in the mid-1980s, and by 1987 there were just 50 left in the US inventory. The last of these were disassembled and decommissioned in October 2011, after being in service for an impressive 50 years. The B-53 was replaced in its bunker-busting role, by the smaller B61 Mod 11. Thanks for watching guys, I hope you enjoyed this look at the B53. We'll have some more videos on nuclear weapons history in the future. In the meantime, don't forget to check out our earlier video on the Bowmark missile as well. If you enjoy our videos, please consider supporting us over on Patreon. Tab is an entirely community supported project, and even just a dollar a month really helps us to keep putting these videos together for you guys. So thanks again for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.